سبحان الله يا بحمدك سبحان الله يا عظيم 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 سبحان الله يا بحمدك سبحان We heard you're going to be on the Dean Show soon. Inshallah. Yeah, right. We look forward to seeing you there. Look forward to being there. Okay. Salaam alaikum. Salaam alaikum. Salaam alaikum. Hey, welcome to the Dean Show. Action! Hey, peace be unto you. Our guest today is a former Christian who's going to share his story with us today. He's a kickboxer, Gracie Jiu Jitsu fighter by day and an x ray technician by night. But in the midst of all this, he finds time to make his five daily prayers, to give thanks to the one who gave him the ability to do this, the Creator, God Almighty. In Arabic, we say Allah. So, let's bring out our guest today, James. Subhanallah, ya bihamdika, subhanallah. Yeah, how are you? Thanks for coming to the show. Thank you. Thank you for uh, coming on the show. Thanks for having me. Good to have you on the Dean Show. So we wanna we wanna know a little about you. We wanna know uh, your story. But before that, we uh, it was interesting watching you fight. You seem like a very tough guy. <laughs> Very tough guy. Not really. Not really. Yeah. Uh, is this uh, how long you been in the martial arts? I've been training for about five years. Five years. A good stress release. Yeah. Relax. Yeah. Yeah. Get a little, a little, a little so steam off. Good know. stress release. Come in, you know, uh, train a little bit, and uh, it's a good workout also. Yeah, but then through the midst of all this, we see that you also are an X-ray technician. Yes. Okay. And you're also a father. Yes. You're married. Yes. All right. Good. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So, and in the midst of all this, you find time to find, do your five daily prayers. That's very, very impressive. You know, I, I try my best, try to be a good Muslim, do the best I can. How long have you been Muslim now? Uh, two, about two years. Two years? Yeah. Nice, nice. So, tell us a little bit before Islam. Let's rewind now, and let's give us some brief uh, overview of your past. You were born a Christian? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, I had a very normal life, you know, here in the United States, in Chicago. Uh, very normal childhood. And uh, I went off to the military for four years. You were in the military? Yeah, four years. I uh, came back, went to college. And um, th throughout that entire time, you know, I always felt that uh, I felt close to Allah, you know, throughout that whole time. And, and, and being a Christian, you know, I, I thought that, you know, that, that was the right thing. But as I got older and uh, I started to learn more and read more, I, I found out that, you know, I questioned some of the things that I had learned, you know, through my childhood, through my parents and, and you know, and, and peers and stuff like that. And just started to really question, you know, what I had learned. So throughout life, you did always believe in God? Yes. All right. And your parents, did you grow up going to Sunday school or church? On the I, went, uh, I went to church occasionally. You know, I, okay, I, my parents are Christian. They, they go to church occasionally. You know, not, not every Sunday or, you know, whatever, just occasionally. So <coughs> what were the things that started 
to have you question the things that just didn't go with that natural disposition we have? What, what were the things, the doubts that started to go through your mind? Well, the main question that I had was this uh, belief in the Trinity. That that was that was a question that I had years ago, you know. And throughout all those years, people always told me, you know, to believe in the Trinity, you know, this and that and that. I always had a question, how could, how could that be? But the answer that I would always get was, that's just something that you should believe in. Just believe? Yeah, and that's it. Did you try to go to some of your higher ups or would yeah. the priests or the uh, preachers or the people in charge of the church and did you yeah. ever try to have a conversation about yeah, this? Yeah, I, I had, uh, you know, I had friends, uh, close friends that have been, uh, you know, practicing actively for years, years, and, and were believed to, I've had a lot of knowledge in, you know, Christianity, Christianity and everything, and that was the same answer that I always got, yes, and just believe, you know, and that's, that's it. So this just, you weren't satisfied with that? No, I, honestly, how could that be true? I mean, how could it be true? How could Jesus Christ, Alayhi Salaam, how could he be a lost? I don't know, I couldn't. How could he be God Almighty? Right. Yeah, well, okay. So, before you started to research and uh, go on learning about Islam, did you try to investigate any other form of life, any other way, any other religion? Um, I, I actively look at all religions. I'm open to, you know, to understand people and the way they think. And uh, I, don't, I don't look at one religion and say it's bad. I don't say anything bad about any religions, but I, I just want the truth. You just want the, the truth. truth. You the just ultimate want truth. The ultimate truth. Yeah, like all of us should be seeking. It's right. the ultimate truth. Right. Right. The, so it doesn't matter if you're born into something, you should have full conviction that this is the truth. Right. And so, what did you now hear about Islam? Did you hear about Muslims before? Did you, uh, did you through the media, were you programmed to think a certain way? Did you think all Muslims were terrorists? Or No, my first uh, encounter with um, Islam was through the Nation of Islam. Through the Nation of Islam, yeah, which has nothing to do with Islam, actually. Right, right. This, um, you know, as I educated myself, I, I came to find out that this was a, a totally uh, different practice. They, they do things a lot differently, and uh, but that was my first, you know, uh, encounter with uh, Islam. And then as I, you know, learned uh, more about it, I came to realize that uh, true Islam is a beautiful religion in itself. It's nothing where how people try to portray it today. Not at all. Not that all Muslims all. are, not directly do they say it, but indirectly. Mm -hmm. You know, if you show someone doing something so <clears throat> much and you put these visuals out there, it's yeah. like a programming. Yeah. And so, there's a lot of propaganda out there on the TV. Just, just uh, you know, slight small things they do to keep people away from Islam. It's yeah. like, that's Islam over there, but uh, you want to stay away, kind yeah. of, indirectly yeah. telling you that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's good. We're going to take a break and we'll be back with the Dean Show. Back to the Dean Show. Peace be unto you. We're here with our guest James, who's sharing his story with us. He used to be a former, uh, is it safe to say practicing Christian? Yes. Okay. Yes. So now, before you again started to really research into Islam, you had briefly uh, looked into some of the other religions, kind of uh, what they had to offer, what the message was, but that didn't fit either? No, um, and also, you know, being a martial artist, I was, uh, pr uh, I learned, uh, you know, about Buddhism. Everybody. Buddhism. Uh, uh, I learned a slight bit of it, and um, it, it just, you know, a lot of things, they didn't feel like the truth. It just didn't make sense. Right. Okay. Right. Now, again, back to uh, what people say, uh, used to say and the media, um, did you, were you influenced by any of this, by this negative propaganda? No, I, I definitely wasn't influenced and the main reason was because uh, being uh, African American the, some of the things they say about Muslims it, it's, it's the same type of thing they did to African Americans back in the 50s and the 60s and the 70s when they tried to uh, stereotype people you know and uh, just make a, a, a vast a big uh, assumption of how everyone is in a certain race religion 
and it, it's just a, it's a stereotype and, and a racism that that's not right. But you were humble enough and sincere enough to to see through all of this. Yeah. And you wanted to see for yourself what Islam actually was it what people were trying to paint it out to be. Right. That's correct. Right. Okay. All right. We're gonna uh, cut out here, and we're gonna invite you back to continue listening to James' story here on The Dean Show. So be prepared for part two of Choosing Islam and One Man's Tale with James, our guest, on The Dean Show. Assalamu